press sign helps uh, any printer to be able to achieve the ISO 12647 on press. There's really two reasons why uh, somebody wants to print to the ISO standard. You know, the first one really is the colour consistency. It allows a set standard so we can repeat you know, day in, day out, um, repeat jobs, um, trying to get a campaign that's printed on multiple types of media um, allows you know, having the same colour all the time across that makes a massive difference to the whole impact of the campaign. Um, and uh, there's uh, a lot of waste uh, with people doing colour evaluation visually. It's very difficult for uh, printers to try and get you know, what looks nice is what one person thinks looks nice is different to what somebody else. So again, this cross-media type colour that we want, and it's very common these days, um, everybody, it, it looks, every, each individual um, print looks okay in their own right, but once it's all put together, suddenly you know, the whole essence of what the campaign's about can just be lost. Normally when we uh, do an implementation to, uh, for the ISO standard, we do it in, there's, there's three different stages that we go through uh, that, that PressLine really helps uh, help to do. Uh, the first thing that happens is we get the, the solid inks correct. So we can test the ink, we can test the paper. Um, it means that we, we know whether you can actually ever achieve the standard. You know, it's a basic parts of the, the uh, of how to get a press running to the ISO standard because the ink's not correct, it's not the correct colour, we're not running at the correct ink film thickness, um, if the paper's not got a good enough coating um, then you know really we're not going to get very far so you need to find out about these kind of things really very quickly um, and again trying to do that visually is very difficult because you're just looking at the press sheet and you just think it just doesn't look right, you don't know why. So press on really helped with that. So the first thing is very much getting the solid inks right, uh, and uh, with press sign Pro, uh, we can see that across the whole press sheet. Uh, so we can see how to adjust the ink ducts uh, as well. Uh, once we have that, we can see how much how the press is working, what the dot gains are, what the differences are between the different colours, how good the grey balance is naturally, those kind of things. Uh, and then press sign will be able to export that so that we can um, normally we would do it as an update to any kind of plate curves. That's that's the easiest way of implementing this kind of thing. Um, and we can, once we do that, we can then create the reports, see how much the colour's changing during the run, um, getting a, get a score as a good rating system, um, so we can use that as our you know, day in, day out um, testing to make sure the press is running the way we want it to run, or multiple presses, you know, multiple jobs, that kind of thing.